Okay, we have returned another integral from the UNSW integration B2024. This was round two, problem six. We have the integral from zero to pi over four, natural log tan x plus one dx. Okay, this one looks pretty tricky. This is not a great situation to have tan x plus one inside the natural log. But I do notice we have the bounds going from zero to pi over four. I'm thinking for this, what we can do is use King's principle. Okay, we have our formula for King's principle here. And what this is gonna allow us to do is take our bounds. This is gonna be like our A to B value right here. And we need the B plus A, so just add in the bounds, but it's nice when the lower bound's zero. So for this value over here, we're gonna have, for B plus A, it's gonna be just pi over four. And then we bring over this minus X. So going ahead with this, just notice our bounds are gonna stay the same. So we're still going from zero to pi over four. And then for the X here, we're just gonna to need to input with this. So we're gonna end up with natural log tangent of pi over four minus x, and we still have this plus one right here. And then from here, I just wanna focus on this piece. And what we can do is use the angle difference formula for tangent on this. If we have something like tangent of a minus b, we can rewrite this as tan a minus tan b over one plus tan a times tan b. So with this, let's see what's gonna happen. We're gonna transform this thing. It's gonna become tangent of this is our a value and this is our b value right here. So we'll have tangent of pi over four minus tangent of x over one plus tangent pi over four times tangent of x. The tangent of pi over four is gonna be just one. And so we can do that here as well. So that one's just gonna go away. And then what I wanna do is take this plus one and bring this in here and see if we can get a common denominator and simplify this even further. So what's gonna happen when we do this, we'll just have, this is gonna be for this first one, one minus tan x over one plus tan x. And then for this one here, I'll just write it as one plus tan x over one plus tan x. But now coming over here, now we have a common denominator, one plus tan x, and putting together the numerator, the tangents are gonna cancel, and then we just have one plus one or two here in the numerator. So for all this right here, bring back the natural log, I can write this as natural log, of two over one plus tan x. But then with log properties, we can break this up and write it as ln two minus ln one plus tan of x. So now let's take this expression right here, put it back in the integral and continue from there. Okay, now at this point we're in pretty good shape because natural log two, that's just gonna be a constant. So we're gonna have no problem integrating this. And then if we break this up into two integrals, what's gonna happen is you'll notice this right here is the same thing as this right here in a different order. So what I can do is put a label on this. We'll label our original integral i. And so this thing is gonna be i. And then when we break this up, this thing over here is gonna be i. So let's just do this and see what we have left. So everything's gonna be i. We'll have this integral first. So we'll break that out separately. So we're going from zero to pi over four, natural log two, dx. And then all this other stuff, I'm just gonna say this is gonna be minus i. But we can get rid of this just by adding an i on both sides. Add an i here, and this is gonna become a two i. This will cancel here. We can go ahead and integrate here because this is just gonna be, again, this is just a constant. So integrating this, we're gonna have just natural log two times x evaluated from zero to pi over four. Going ahead with this, when you evaluate at zero, that's gonna be nothing. So we just need to plug in pi over four. And we have over here ln two times pi over four and the only thing that's left is we just have to remember this two over here. So let's just divide off this two to isolate our solution, divide by a two here. And so for my final solution, we have just pi natural log of two all over eight. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from UNSW 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.